Corona Chan ain't stopping this bro down. Up Whitey Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone chapter 144. So, last chapter, um, found out we are going to San Francisco, thank God, but Senku and, um, and, uh, Ryusui were arguing about which route to go on, and Senku was just so focused on getting the ethanol from the corn, which I don't understand why. You're going to San Francisco. Go to fucking Napa and go to the vineyards. There's tons of wine there. You could get the alcohol from there, you dumbass. Like, Jesus. Oh, my God. I don't understand Senku. It just is... <sighs> Frustrates me so fucking much. Anyway, um, Ryasui is worried about, um, about our labor more than, uh, more than the corn. I I'm kind of surprised Ryasui didn't say anything about the uh, about the vineyards. You think someone is, uh, you know, someone is rich is Ryusui would know about the vineyards in Napa. Probably like, whoa. I know he, I know he underage, but like, come on, man. Anyway, we're now into a poker showdown, aka a bro down. Well, I'm still calling it a bro down showdown. Suck it. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and. Uh, See how this shit is gonna go down. Whoa, Ryusui and Senku are gonna have a poker showdown? Yeah, it's a bro down showdown. Well, and Kohaku. Um, and chapter 144 is titled Ryusui and Jen, AKA my top two best boys, um, versus Senku and Kohaku, AKA my ship. And Inagaki, you have made my life by doing this. By having my best boys my, uh, versus my ship makes me happy. Makes me happy. So here we go. It's Ryasui and Jen versus Senku and Kohaku. Um, this is a showdown between our ship captain and science captain to decide our route across the ocean. Ryasui is opting for the longer but easier route, while Senku wants the tougher route uh, that will get us there quicker. You know what I just realized, and I was just thinking about this. Um, Ryasui is, it, like, does Senku realize, and you would think Senku would realize this, is that, that the San Francisco Bay has some of the roughest waters in the world? Yeah, um... We're gonna need our sails intact to get through that shit. We don't want our sails to get fucked up. I'll, that's why I gotta side with Ryasui on this one. Not just because he's my second favorite character, but um, but because I know how the waters are in the Bay Area. They are if you if you've been to San Francisco, uh, been in, uh, like boating, or fuck if you've just been in the, uh, in uh, San Francisco and have looked like at for example, at Pier 39 and looked at the water and shit, you know how, or fuck it, even in, Al uh, like, have gone to Alcatraz and whatnot, you know how rough that water is. But anyway. I'm gonna read. Ryasui is, op uh, is opting for the longer but easier route. Well, Senku wants the tougher route that'll get us there quicker. Well, no, I'm betting on Ryasui because he's got Jen on his side. Those sneaky tricks mean they can't lose. Uh, betting? Suika doesn't know what that means, but Ryasui seems better at games. Team Ryasui, yeah. And it, yeah, pick the winning side. <laughs> I'm looking at fucking, fucking Zukas is just like, what? And fucking Kroll was just like, it's just fucking hilarious. Um, and then we got Team Senku, Team Senku. Uh, yeah, but this is a battle of wits and Senku never loses at those. You got a, you got a mentalist. Who is pretty goddamn witty too? So I don't know. You dummies don't realize how good Kohaku's eyesight is. Uh, but can Kohaku count cards? Uh, 
uh, getting a bit too excited, getting a bit too excited, folks? You realize your lives are on the line here, right? Oops. Uh, I say, I say, how careless of me. I love that Jen is just, like, talking in, in Latin. I fucking love it. <laughs> That's odd. If I have to believe my eyes, it seems as though you put a, just put a specific card on top, Jen. Of course I'm willing to admit I was wrong if the card on top isn't the Ace of Hearts. What? The Ace of Hearts? How is unsurprising say? How is uh, surprising say? A true coincidence. Jen's bit of magic won. Identify the card you want and spread the pile out. Uh, this takes plenty of practice for simp a simpler trick. Go to a bit of magic part two. Um, basically, uh, I'm going to read this again. Identify the card you want and spread the pile out. Subtly grab it with your fingers from underneath and piece it um, exactly where you want. Could you do it, cat? So... Could you do that? Santa says he could do that. Hi, kitty. You could do that, like Jen. You're a schmarky. Um, we can't let this move, uh, talker, um, touch the cards again. Harsh. Uh, three of a kind. Flush. This, uh, time to kick, time to kick this up a notch. I raise. <laughs> Ria Sui's always so gutsy anyway that I can't that uh, Ria Sui's always so gutsy anyway that I can't read even one millimeter if he's bluffing or not. One's winning one moment, the other the next. But Ria Sui has a uh, few more chips than Senku. What? Do you sprinkle? Uh, did you sprinkle something on top of the deck? Sugar? Come on! I'm not touching the cards just like you said. New rule: your hands can't move at all. Then how am I supposed to play? Jen's bit of magic, too. Uh, take salt or sugar and sprinkle on, on top of the deck. Then when another card is on top, it will slide differently, making it easy, easily identifiable. Jen, you sneaky fuck! Ah, I get it, the sugar. Go hawk and check Jen's sleeve. A, bu a bug? A beetle? You found me, and right when I smelled something su uh, sweet. It, it feel, it feel, it's feelers react to the card marked by the sugar. How many tricks do you have up your sleeve? No more, I swear, that's all I've got, I've done. Don't believe me? There's the deck. Feel free to check the whole thing. Every last card, one by one. After that stunt with the bug, all, all our eyes, Kohaku's mind, the audiences are on the deck. Ha, I raise, I'm all in. That much, really? Feels like this will be my the final hand. In that moment, Ryusui's cards in his hand got fl uh, flipped around. You swapped in some cards, Jen. What an accusation! The scene-stealing bug and then having us check the deck? That all drew everyone's attention away. Uh, it's basic. It's a basic principle of magic tricks. Uh, but it makes sense, uh, since uh, all these all these little um, uh, tricks seem sloppy and not on your level, Jen. You wanted us to think we'd seen through it all so that when we were focused on the deck, you could swap out uh, Ryusui's bottom four cards. All that nonsense was just a setup for the, this big, decisive move. If he had those four cards prepared all, all along, they must be the, uh, the strongest four possible. Seku could only win with this with a straight flush, which is basically impossible. Second and fifth from the top, second from the bottom. Uh, Seku, you have no choice but to fold. I guess I'm also all in. But why? That's all, uh, that all drew everyone's attention away. It's a basic principle of magic tricks. And we'll be replacing uh, three of the cards in our hand. Too quick. Did those really come from the top of the deck, dear Kohaku? Of course. What an accusation. Hmm. She grabbed them from the middle of the face-down deck. But even if she did, so what? If she can't see the cards anyway, that shouldn't matter. Is it just me, or did this chapter just become a chapter of uh, Kakiguri manga? You know what? just have this chapter be a chapter of kakiguri what i mean by that is have a battle of cheating because and without getting well in kakiguri it's it's mainly cheating uh the gambling is all is all about cheating but without getting caught but without getting caught by the dealer i wish you would have gone that route in Igaki. that would have been way more interesting i'm not detecting any sort of special markings hmm. meaning it could just be a big bluff what, what fun! This will decide the whole game. We're both all in. It's a showdown, four of a kind. Royal straight flush. Oh, that bitch! What? Your chips are mine, and so's the game. Five aces, though. At this point, whatever. She cheated. There's a cheater in our midst. Cause there are, there's five aces. Somebody.
somebody cheated. And it must have been, there's five aces. Come on! Someone needs to call that shit out. But I guess we're going to be Kakaguri. How did you do it? I, uh, I really, really can't tell how you mark them. Of course you can't, because my scientific marking is colorless and invisible. It's, um, Urshiel, soaked up from some lacquer that we conveniently got lying around. From the start, I've been searching for the key cards and marking their edges with the Urshiel. See? This is Kakiguri! This is straight up Kakiguri! Uh, lacquer, of course. Convenient indeed. This thing carves, uh, um, sounds into, onto a, uh, lacquered wooden tube. But, um, that, um, uh, Urshi stuff is, uh, is see-through. Nobody, uh... Um, can see it, right? How could Seth can tell which cards were, uh, were... <laughs> oh, of course, your second skin is especially sensitive to it. Oh, my God. How did no one notice this? The winner is Seku. Um, putting your own health on the line. We're, we're taking the great circle uh, route across the uh, Pacific Ocean. It's 10 billion percent tougher, but we'll link up with Rory and uh, the t them in Japan and use uh, GPS to navigate the globe. It's a shortcut courtesy of science. I think we all knew Sanku was going to win. We did. And, yeah, we, def we definitely went the Kakiguri route. This chapter was straight up Kakiguri. This is straight out of Kakiguri. It was. And if you are not reading uh, Kakiguri manga, this is poor man's. But I'm going to say this right now. This is poor man's Kakiguri. Kakiguri does. Oh, man. What Kakiguri does with the cheating, how the, how the cheating happens in Kakiguri, um, is done way better. It's crazy how they cheat. It's very scientific, too. It's amazing. Um, shit is just fucking crazy in Kakiguri. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but... This chapter was interesting. I'm The only thing I'm kind of disappointed in is how obvious Jen's cheating was. Jen's cheating should have been more sneaky. What the fuck was up with that? Why wasn't Jen's cheating more sneaky? That's my only gripe with this chapter, is Jen and Ryusui's uh, cheating should have been sneakier. Other than that, this was a good chapter. But, anyway, um, I'm very curious what you guys um, uh, thought of this chapter. Um, let me know your thoughts uh, in, um, in the comment section below. If you're a Kakiguri reader, like, do you, do you guys see where I'm coming from with this? And I'm curious if you guys agree with me in, uh, in regards to, uh, um, into, into, like, being just, not just because I, I'm a Jen fan. I just, Jen should have been sneakier. Same with Rita Sui. I'm disappointed by that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Dr. Stone content, um, you can donate to my cash app, uh, PayPal, GoFundMe, uh, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on uh, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, uh, find me on PlayStation Network, that's in uh, the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!